Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here playing F1 2020. We got some classic cars here. We're doing the 2010 Red Bull, the RB6. And today we're racing Azerbaijan. 13 laps of the city circuit. One of the canceled races here, of course, in the 2020 F1 season. So I figured what's better than just race it here in the videos because that's what we've got to do. Go to some of these tracks, and I mean, I want to do some of these ones that maybe aren't on the calendar, and we did that with the U.S. Grand Prix, and I figured another one that I really want to do is Azerbaijan. I really started to like this track a little bit more than I initially did, and it was definitely a track that I wasn't a fan of in F1 2019, but racing here in F1 2020, and even towards the end of F1 2019, I definitely started liking it more. So here we go, working our way through the first lap here in Azerbaijan with the old cars, and got a Braun GP right here in front of us trying to uh, stay with them. Very, very quick car there, of course. Not that this car is bad in its own respect, but also we do flashbacks here on the channel, let's be honest. Dumb things like that need to have flashbacks. Ooh. Just so tight through that section. This car definitely drives a little bit differently uh, than the current cars, the career mode cars <laughs> that have come from driving the fully upgraded career mode car at the end of season three. That's what I'm currently going on to right now, the beginning of season four, so. Okay, the start was fine. Let's try and move forward. That's really like the thing we're looking at, so. You know. Car just feels a little bit different from that, but. Bro, ooh, slight, slight tap of the wall there, but no problem for us at all. We can get a rich mix too for fuel. Try to just go a little bit faster here down this straight, but actually, the Ferrari out of nowhere comes by and just flies past us on the straight, and we're down to third here with the Red Bull. That car has some pace to it there. Wow. That is absolutely wild. That car has some pace, dude. I don't know which if that's the F2004, but if it is, that thing is absolutely just gone and just yeeted me, bro. Like, that dude's gone. Pull up behind him here. Just try to stick with him. Him and LeBron GP's pulling away a little bit as well. Ooh, right on the back of the Ferrari. Literally pushing him to the corner there. It's a little bit slow through the corners, but once it gets on the straight, bro, that thing just... Absolutely just yeets away, dude. Be careful with the front wing. You've taken damage on my front wing, dude. I damage on my front wing, bro. Because again, this car is just slow through these corners, and it's just an absolute problem. I'm gonna lose the brawn here if we don't be careful. If we don't watch out, this thing's gonna just leave us behind, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I went really hard into that corner. I don't know if we have, um... Is the safety car on? This has a question. See the car's off. Why is it off? Hmm. Weird. Okay. That brawn is just gone, dude. Like. 100% gone. And this Ferrari, bro, is. 
got the pace down the straight. Try to pull him behind to get a toe from it, but like, it's absolute just gone, dude. Like, look at that thing just go, bro. <laughs> It was already over a second ahead of us. Oh my god, bro. That thing is so quick down the straights. We catch it a lot in the corner. That's the thing. The only thing I can hope here is that this car can catch the brawn and then we can catch it in the corner because at this point, it's absolutely just over for us as races, but we need the Ferrari to go up, battle the brawn. They're going to battle each other for the lead. Hopefully slow each other down enough. And also again, this car just slow through the corners here. So it's a high, like, high amount of corner section that we're gonna start approaching right now. It's gonna be caught by us just a little bit. As you can see, we're very fast at this section. And the Ferrari's just very, very slow. We're catching up to it so much here. And especially through this castle section, this thing is slow as hell, dude. So that's my strategy, just sit behind this Ferrari. Because I know through these corners I can catch it, I can pass it if I need to. So I'm just going to hope this thing can help us catch the brawn. I mean, through these straights, this thing is just got the legs on us. Like, it's gone already, dude. Gap to car in front is 1.8 seconds. Engine's running a bit hot in this thing, but... I mean, that Ferrari, I don't know about the strategy now, actually seeing how quickly that thing just left us. But again, through these corners, we're making ground on it. And I think in the castle section, we'll definitely catch it. We definitely put in the work on it there. I mean, as you can see, we are really, really reeling it back in here. So the corners are equalizing the Ferrari to us. The straights are equalizing the Ferrari to the Braun. And we're all just sort of in this little battle here. And then I think the McLaren behind us can't really do much with us. So that's the thing, like we are gonna just hopefully get the battle that we're looking for between the Ferrari and the Braun. That's the goal here. on the straights I just don't have the speed I don't know why I don't have it but this Red Bull is not brilliant in a straight line here pretty sure that's something with this car though is that it's brilliant in the corners not brilliant on the straight so a track like this where it comes to having these massive straights we just lose out so much
But I mean, you see in these corners how much we gained two tenths of a second on the corner, and then we lost two tenths in the straight. Like. Whereas in the Ferrari is almost the other way around. It's brilliant in the straight line. And it's not brilliant in the corner. So we're really, really going to use this section as an advantage here to us. Especially if they're here, we can really try to catch the Ferrari, and you can see it's how much worse it is to these sections. The only issue is that the Braun, I think, is a similar situation to us, where it's just... I don't know, that car is quick in general, so I'm not really sure, but... I'm not necessarily sure which one it is for that car, but... It seems like it definitely gets reeled in a little bit on the straights by the Ferrari. But as you can see, the gap between us is all... It's hard to really tell what it's at. Because again, the Ferrari just absolutely yeets us on the straight. And pulls away to almost like two and a half seconds. No, you reel it into about a second. To the second sector. So... It's definitely hard to tell, but that Ferrari is definitely gaining on the the Braun. And I mean, look at that time difference up there. Look at that time difference. They're definitely getting closer. The Ferrari and the Braun GP, which is going to come out on top here. I'm kind of sitting here watching this from third place now. I think this is like really the first time in this game that I've really, really noticed a significant difference in the the power of a car through a different section. Like, I don't think that I've really raced these old cars. Because the current cars, again, they're all going to have their... And every car will have a strength and weakness in different sections. But the newer cars, like... Again, it's the same the same year. They're, they're all 2020 cars, so they're all going to have a very similar similar vibe to them. Of course, you're going to notice different ones might be a little bit better, but you're not going to be looking at an era difference here, which we're looking at. These are three different regulations of cars that we're looking at. We're looking at a 2004 car, 2009, and then the 2010s differ from 2009. So to see the difference in those cars through these sections, like it's just crazy to see how the... The 2004 car is so fast in the straight line. The 2010 car, which again is Red Bull's philosophy of cornering better than straight line speed as well. But, like this car, the way it drives, and then the Braun just like, Keep managing your tires. you can tires. sort of notice, I think it's better in the corners. Because the Ferrari's definitely the catching on the straight. And the issue is just so far ahead of us that we can't really do anything anywhere to it. I just think that car is so quick that... We're going to struggle to catch both these cars. But typically when you do the classic races, if you don't drive one of these three cars and do something stupid, these are typically the top three that you see. The 2010 Red Bull, 2004 Ferrari, and 2009 Braun, of course. The only year of the Braun, but still. Those are like the cars that you typically just see. And again, look at this. The, the gap here between the Ferrari and the Braun, like, we really close up on the Ferrari to 1.3 seconds through that castle section. It's just so bad through there. That honestly, that's my hope in this race, is that... The gap to the 
it catches the the brawn, which it is. We're all getting a little bit closer. But my hope is that the Ferrari catches the brawn, passes the brawn, and slows it down to the castle section. Giving us potentially the opportunity to pass it. Because, like, that's what we need is just the brawn to pass the Ferrari. For the Ferrari to pass the brawn. So, of course, later on in the week that we will be doing the Belgian Grand Prix, the upcoming race for this week. And we're going to see what we can do when we hit the track in Belgium this Sunday. So that should be very, very exciting. Two F1 2020 videos in one week. That is always exciting news. So the Braun is slowing down a little bit, which is pushing, pushing the Ferrari back to us. We're all getting a lot closer here all of a sudden, which is absolutely brilliant. That's what you love to see, what you love to hear, what you love to just notice. And right here, I mean, we are on the Ferrari. We just don't have the, the ability to pass it, which is fine. The Braun is slowing down. Pushing the Ferrari back to us, and we're all very, very close all of a sudden. Not really sure if the Braun had a bad sector, slowing down because of engine pace or whatever. I mean, we're going to have to slow down ours in a second. Our engine's going to just need to be slowed down. Our fuel mix is just too high at the moment. So I'm actually going to drop that down now so I can save a little bit of fuel maybe before the end of this race. But you can tell through here that these cars are all slowing down a little bit, their engine mode. So we're all a little bit closer than we were before. And they're both pushing with the Ferrari. is actually going to go try to pass the Braun. And it will down the straight. And I put in the fastest lap of the race, which is absolutely brilliant. That's what we needed right there. Me to put in the fastest lap. So now we're going to get these two cars to battle. Because, again, the, the Ferrari is going to pull the Braun in the straight line. The Ferrari is the quickest. Of all these cars. But it's absolute trash through the corners. Is going to keep the Braun and myself right on it. And we can potentially see a move being made at some point. Oh, I really wanted to go for it there. I really did, but I knew I had to smash the front wing in. I knew I would just destroy the front wing if I did that. And the Braun is just pushing the Ferrari through the corner here. It's just so bad. And now the Ferrari has to pick up pace through here. And it's just a wild battle through this section. Now we're all going to have to go slow once again through here. The Braun, which is not as fast as the Ferrari here in the straight line. But the thing is that the Ferrari... is so much slower through the corners that it can't get the legs on us. And it won't be able to get that same speed on the straight as the Braun got. But we're going to see a probably potential pass between these two again. I wouldn't be surprised. And now that we're coming up to the final, like, few laps here and the final bit of the track also where there's a lot of turns, we can really see something happen here, maybe. Ah, damn. I was trying to see how much I could send in that corner. 
Try to go for a full send, bro. An absolute full send into this castle section. We go again. The Ferrari, the Braun, the Red Bull. A massive battle and a side-by-side -side contact with the Red Bull and the Braun, but that's not what we need. We need these two cars to be going at the Ferrari, not going at each other. Of course, it's difficult here. But we did manage to pass the Braun, who started in second. So the Braun started in second, but led a majority of the laps in this race. Now the Ferrari, who probably started in third. So the second and third place cars have led more. I just did not get a brilliant launch. Bro. That sucks. So here we go. Bit of a block on the brawn, but we'll let it go by. Bit of a lock up there for the brawn GP. Now, into this section, the Ferrari is just gone now. As we begin to start to approach slow cars, along with the Ferrari, we just gotta hope that they get out of our way and we don't catch them in a bad section. Are you serious, dude? We're just going to catch this Ferrari in such a bad section. Oh my god, dude. There's just nothing I can do. Like, I have to just slow down so much going through this corner. Use that car to tow me through it. Yes! The Benetton... And the Ferrari are both gone now. Next up is a McLaren. Very, very hard over those curbs. That's not what you need. Come on, can we get by this guy? We can, we can, we can. On the curb there. Brilliant. Through this tight, winding castle section. Yeah, we got the old Jordan here. No, there's another Benetton. No, that is a Jordan. Okay, that's a Jordan. Cool. Another old McLaren now. Go by the McLaren. So the Braun really, really got held up there. Got it in way worse times than we did. I mean, when we passed that Ferrari and that Benetton, the first two. Like, that was... That was a problem. Because if we caught them at a worse time like the Benetton did. that Or not the Benetton, like the Braun did when they caught the Benetton and the Ferrari. I mean, they got stuck when they were double, double wide. Like, it was side by side. For a second there and they just really really got messed up by that absolutely just killed their opportunities to um, to make a move there so lap 12 or 13 we need to catch this Ferrari like I just I 
don't know if we can, that's the thing. In through here, into the castle. Absolutely brilliant. We really, really catch them through that section. But then, I mean, through here, dude, it's just so hard to catch them. <laughs> I got very, very close to hitting them. Uh, but I just, I don't know... If it's doable. Not sure. I'm very, very like... <laughs> I guess you could say concerned about. Oh my god. That curb just straight into the wall, dude. Box this lap, please. We need to get you on new tires and move on to a different. Okay, box, box, box. We're adjusting the strategy. Come in this lap. Alright. We were relatively close to the front. We're, f we're closer to it through here than we were in a while. Which really bodes well for us, I think. Because we need to be... We were almost on them in the castle section. We were two seconds behind down here. So, my hope is that they catch the back marker in the corner. And they catch him on the straight. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Now we come up on a Williams here. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Two point one seconds behind here on the Ferrari. One point seven. Come on. I feel this lap, if any lap, it could be doable. We're going to be on them out of this castle section. 100% on them right here. Right here. This is our move. This is our move. Ah, that was our move. That was our move. That was our move. That was our move. I think that that was our opportunity right there. I want to get one more shot out of here. Because, I mean, looking at it, Yeah, I, I think that it's... This is definitely going to be our... Toughest section here. I mean, to be on it like we were there... It's good, and I think right here... Launch off that corner almost side by side with the Ferrari. That's the best we're going to get for now. <laughs> I need to enter through there so much faster than the Ferrari if I want any shot of catching them. All right, there we go. We did it. We're ahead of the Ferrari. The only issue now is we have a massive straight try to block a Ferrari on. And they put us in the wall. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, so we're logged in here with this wing damage. That's it. We're committed to that.
They're going to get one more crack at us here. Which way they go? In that way. That way they're going. Ooh, we broke our tire. We broke both of our tires. Ah, <laughs> that's so unfortunate. Yeah, we hit the wall there, and that's that's that. But now they're coming. They're going this way again. Try to hold them up. Try to hold them up. Try to hold them up. We took him out. No, <laughs> not what I want to do. I don't want to take him out. I just want to slow him down. All right, here we go. Oh, he absolutely had us, bro. Oh, no. He completely did us there, bro. Oh, took us out that time. <laughs> oh, man. No. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, we didn't take him out. We didn't take him out, did we? Is he damaged? Is he like damaged, like broken damaged? Oh, that's not a 2004 Ferrari. That's like a 2000. Was that a 2000 Ferrari, I think, maybe? I did it wrong the whole time. He damaged us. He's damaged. He's damaged. He's damaged. He's damaged. Yeah, it's got a number on it. That's from the Michael Schumacher edition. Ah, damn it. All right, we can do this. So we know they're coming this way. Now they're going to go that way. Which way are they going? That way. Yes. <laughs> yes, what a finish. Great. What a finish. We, we blocked, blocked again. That's that's the way I wanted to do it. I don't want to slam each other in the wall. Um, I think it uses your my team livery or your my team uh, uniform, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does. When you race the glass of cars. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's it does. That is my special my team uh, outfit, the black with the orange. Normally it's white and orange. Uh, we have a all black car and a black fire suit to uh, honor my cat Fiesta. Um, I figured since she had to be put down, unfortunately, uh, the other other week, uh, I had to think of some way that I wanted to honor in the game and I made the car all black. She was a black cat. So the car is all black with a little bit of, little hint of orange for our team color. Uh, so we have an orange little stripe on our car, which is uh, a very just nice way to honor her in the video game, I believe, and play using that car throughout the uh, season, end of season three, and all of season four in my career mode. So that's why I have that special fire suit. As for this race, look at that eight one thousandth of a second. Or eight one hundredths of a second, I should say. We won that race by... Oh, that was a 2004 Ferrari. They did put the number on the car. I don't know why they did. Okay, so 2004 Ferrari. Uh, wild battle with that car. I thought it was. I'm like, that car is very, very quick. But it said number one on it. I didn't think they did numbers on the cars for the ones that weren't part of the special edition, but it was the 2004 Ferrari. 2009 Braun, we had a great battle with as well. Uh, that car was quite quick. Uh, how far did we lap through the field? I think la uh, up to, yeah. This is the car that was right in front of us at the finish. Had it gone one more lap, they would have gotten lapped as well. Uh, but, yeah, so the 2010 Red Bull, 2004 Ferrari, and the 2009 Braun. Wild battle. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in.